Next steps. Australia, New Zealand, new Prime Minister, and same Environment Minister, and a, a brand new Minister for Cities and um, the Built Environment. But what I would really like to see is, you know, clean air standards as part of the National Clean Air Agreement. I'd like to see standards which are very close to or at the World Health Organization guidelines. Importantly, that they actually apply where people live and work. There is no point having them sort of the back of the black stump or something like that. They need to apply where people live and work. Uh, we need monitors to um, show the results on that. Also, uh, in my view, um, Malcolm Turnbull um, will have to come up with a new position uh, on climate. I don't think it is sustainable for Malcolm Turnbull to come up with the same position at those COP21 meetings in Paris. Given that, he was an environment minister. So um, uh, if you can imagine the beating that Tony Abbott took on that, I think Malcolm Turnbull will have a more difficult time. But I think it is an opportunity. What he ought to do is sort out the economy and do it in a sustainable way, which is actually about re-engineering um, the economy over the medium and, and longer term. I think he will do that. We'll wait and see. But I think it's a very exciting time to be in Australia or New Zealand. Internationally, we have some European legislation we're working on this, the National Emissions Ceilings Directive. We have, for the very first time, three measures included in the new Sustainable Development Goals on air pollution. And I think that's uh, a huge development. COP21 in Paris, and of course next May, the World Health Assembly 69th meeting which um, uh, is when the World Health Organization will pre present the plan that they were asked to produce at the last meeting, and UNEP, of course, producing reports in stages. Next steps for Clean Air in London. The mayoral election next year, as I said, it's already shaping up air pollution and the related sort of traffic issues to be a, certainly a top three issue, it was certainly a top five issue in the last mayoral election in 2012 in London Assembly. Housing is sort of up there because guess what, the sort of mayoral candidates love housing, not just because it's a huge problem and it is a great concern to people, uh, most definitely, but actually because guess what, they can have targets and they don't really need to be held accountable for anything. So they love having that as their sort of top thing. Air pollution and traffic problems, diesel in particular, is being absolutely forced into their agenda.